Well, I hope you can hear me okay. It's been one of those days today. We've had this um, this hospital business going on. And I've got home now and I've slipped back into my scruffy t shirt. This is the one that Fiona hates the most. It's got holes and everything in it. I never said I hate it. But it's, um, it's very comfortable. And when I'm relaxing at home, I, I, I'm quite happy. And then my wife, I can't look Bollocks, as he wears this all the time. Yes. You liar. I wish I could fit into that, darling. <laughs> it's stretchy. Do you know, I was, I was uh, criticised by the Daily Mail for wearing elasticated clothes. Trousers. Trousers, clothes, How generally. How be bloated and Nothing wrong with a bit trousers. of elastic, is there? Especially as you get older. Yeah, and all the horrors that that may ensue. <laughs> and I'm reliably informed that that does ensue certain... Um, it's not for the young, that's for sure. Because I've been one of these people who, who's been really, really lucky, really, because I've been quite fit all my life. You know, the, the um, I needed reading glasses when I got to about, I don't know, mid-40s. And I was like, oh no, oh no, I mean... Pff, that's nothing, trust me. That's nothing. You know, as you as you get older, and I'm not that old. I'm only 61, um, 62 this year, and uh, you know, all of a sudden something hits you in the face like a bat. Bop. Oh, you're ill, mate. You've got to take it easy. You think, oh, well, I don't want to take it easy. I don't, I don't feel... Anyway, that's just. Yeah, enough. I don't see how that's relevant because you've been taking it easy all your fucking life. Well, and I'm, now, all of a sudden, the doctor says, take it easy. He's like, oh, I can hardly take it easy. I'm like, where the fuck were you when I was fixing the roof? Or I, 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 uh, no, fiberglassing the boat? Or I haven't been over-excelling myself. You see, I'm one of these people, you see, who believes that the heart's only got so many beats in it. You know, it's, it's your lifespan, you know? And... Uh, if you use them all up really early on, really fast, like running. Um, it's all right, 62.2. I'm still alive and yeah. I've got to keep an eye on my temperature to make sure I don't get a, get a fever or anything. Oh, God, yeah. So, yeah, yeah I think uh, I've, so I've, I've reserved, you know, I've paced myself through life without wanting to go too flat out. But, you know, you always look back and you think, well, what if I'm going to pop it tomorrow? And you think, well... What would I have changed if you look back? And money is always an option, thing, isn't it? You know, if you've got the opportunity, you've got money, you can always do things. But if you've got no money, you haven't, you, you, your options are very limited, aren't they? Whereas I can give someone an idea now who's out there, because I'm always good at giving other people ideas to make money, but not me. Because every time I try to make money, it never works. <laughs> Or it ends in failure, or I just give up because I'm I'm not that focused and great. But I, I was watching some videos today on the internet, and uh, people are plodding round in the in the old Willys Jeep. Do you remember the old Willys Jeep? Of course you do with this iconic vehicle. I mean, even to this day they are collectible, and they they cost thousands. You could pay ten, twenty, thirty thousand, depending on the condition. And they made these things in the in the, it was the 30s, wasn't it, or the 20s? I don't even know what you're talking about. So don't late know 30s, late 30s, the American Army came up with the 4x4 Jeep, the Willys Jeep. Ford made them as well, and they were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Everybody looked at them and went, whoa, we want them. And for years they've been evolving them and making them, trying to make them better. And, but you can't beat the original one. And I thought, well, look, you've got people in Indonesia now, Philippines and places like this, they actually manufacture them, make them new. And I thought, oh, you could buy a tub and a chassis and some axles and engine and ship it. And it, by the time it gets here, it costs you more than a new car. So you think, well, there's no point in doing that. But someone, someone sure to make chassis and body tubs out of carbon fibre. And then they'll last forever. They'll never rust. Because I think the Willys Jeep is brilliant. It's perfect. People will say, well, it's crap. Carry on the motorway in that, the freeway. Well, you know, it's thirties technology, isn't it? But they 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 classic car that will live forever. And if you want to look at something great, Willie's Jeep, you can't beat the Willie's Jeep. Slightly tactless. 
Why? The submarine's made of carbon fibre. Aeroplanes are made of carbon fibre. There has been levels of criticism oh. about that. I saw well, that. I, I saw that video the guy made about a year don't, ago. Just don't, just don't, just don't. Let's pray to God they're alive. Yes. I had a car years ago. Um, we so, were living in the boatyard in Shoreham, absolutely potless. And some other fella who was potless and he had, was going through a divorce, his wife had taken a, ham, a lump hammer to the car and bashed all the panels in, the metal panels that she could. But the majority of the car was made of plastic and that was Lightning McQueen. And he was selling it cheap and he wanted 500 quid and Graham showed it to me and she was a really cute little red sports car. And uh, I said, we just can't afford it, Graham. We can't afford it. And uh, so he sent it back to the fella and the fella come back, he was desperate for money. He said, I'll take 400 and we had to pay that in instalments because we had this boat to pay for. And we bought Lightning McQueen and Lightning McQueen, I mean, literally his ex-wife had taken a lump hammer to the doors and the, every metal part she could. The woman obviously knew what, what was plastic and what was metal, but the majority of the car was um, plastic wasn't it really a lot of it was the and I, I love lightning mcqueen and uh, well i called it that because it was a nissan 100 nx like jeremy clarkson was the voiceover in one of the lightning mcqueen films and the yeah. kids not just our kids but when i picked the kids up from school i'd take the roof off it was a t-bone yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah and they'd all jump in and and they just loved it unfortunately lightning had to go to the scrap yard Many, many years after it should have gone, I have to add. Yeah, I, I did try. I just scrapped it many years earlier, personally. I loved that car. She I did, spent she loved it. £2,000 on body repairs with some useless cunt here in um, La Linea. He, had, he kidnapped my car for uh, two years, three years. And it never ran properly after no, that, did it? Never ran again. The bodywork was fabulous, but uh, never ran again you, after. You broke six. the back windscreen. And then he, he denied really sorry. it, didn't he? He said, no, it was broken when you brought it. I said, it fucking wasn't, mate. And I paid £2,000. Do you remember? £2,000? No, it was seven. You had to no. buy the glass that imported to Jib and have it fitted. And it cost about 700 quid just for the fat windscreen to be put in. And the car still wouldn't go on and we had to scrap it in the end. I paid for a stainless, high-grade uh. stainless steel exhaust. These are all my mistakes. Yeah, yeah. But you see... I know a bit or two about cars when it comes to cars because I've been in the motor trade for many years and you know my advice was lost on Fiona. But she had a many good years out of it. We drove it down to Gibraltar, didn't we? I was very attached. The kids to that were car. tiny when she had it and she she ran it for years and years in Brighton. All just their kept, kids just kept I used to going. pick them up at, I used to pick them up from school after I'd done the cleaning. Well I'd do my cleaning and then I'd go to your mother's house for a lecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, his mother loved to tell me I'd never had it so good. My generation never had it so good. I thought, Oh my god, Pam, I've got to take the kids home through a traffic jam, go to Asda, I live on a boat, I've got to empty the toilet do the laundry, cook their day, oh my God. And she's there, oh, your generation have never had it so good. And I was like, oh, fucking. And, um. So you, couldn't, you couldn't run this, what was it, an egg cup down to my friend at 30 miles away, oh drop God, it off. Yeah, yeah, Eastbourne We'll go down, we'll, go, we'll drive down now and drop it off. She wants to borrow it. Anyway, I mean, every day when I picked the kids up from school, because we lived in a boat, on a boat in Brighton Marina, but they went to school in Port Slade because that's where she lived, which was six miles away. We put away. her address down, this So we put her address down, so that's where they went to school. And I wanted them to have a social life, so after school, every day, no matter how tired I was, I took them to the park, ice cream, play with their friends, and I'd sit and chat to their parents. Now, nothing in common with the parents at all, you know? <laughs> And it was the they, last they, they place. They get up at four o'clock and bake bread, don't they? And last place I wanted to be on planet Earth. Eat yogurt good. and go for a jog and things no, like well, this. No, well, no, they weren't. They were like, all oh, right, how's it going? You want a game of darts? Or some of them were like, eh, hey, would you like to do tofu food and do yoga? And I was like, oh my God, I've got nothing in common with any of you. And none of them had any clue who I was until I hit the TV one day and then I went into the playground wow. to pick them up 
and there were about 300 parents and children all like this. Yeah, but a fat boy slim. That was and and what's his, what's he called? Zoe Ball. Zoe Ball. Zoe Ball. Woody. Yeah, our kids went to school. They were, Woody. Yeah. In the same class. Yeah. I think all of them. But that was that was before. Oh my God, I was on the telly. So a lot of the attention was diverted. They didn't look at her, they looked, oh, there's um, Fatboy Slim, look. Oh, I, wanted the, I wanted the kids to have a social life, and so I would pull up outside the school in Lightning McQueen with the roof, the roofs off, because they're, they're two pieces. It's a T-bone, like um, a Ferrari, really. Yeah, it's you got can a lift T-bar. the, 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 the T-bar. Yeah. It was so I'd take feature, the T-bar off. The kids always said to me, Mum, please pick us up with the roof off. And I'd take the roof off and all their friends would be climbing all over lightning. And the, there was one road where uh, all their little friends were on the car and I'd go, well, I'll go dead slow. And all the mums and dads were like, that's all right. And I'd drive dead slow and our kids were just so proud of Lightning McQueen. And um, we drove lightning down from Brighton to Jib and I... Well, well, it was a mistake. We should have just got the plane, really, looking back in hindsight. Because um, there's nowhere to park in Jib. No, and, we've got the Lexus still, and, and I'm going to fix that yeah. Lexus. But the thing is with Gibraltar, and it's even worse now, this was 14 years ago when we got here, you found a parking space, and you don't go out, because if you go out, you lose your parking space, then you've got to pay £10 a day to put it in the car park. So there was just absolutely just no, it's just no, absolutely pointless in having a car in Gibraltar, even to this day. I wouldn't have a car in Gibraltar. Complete waste of time. Should have just got the plane, sold the cars, got the plane, come down and just bought something down here. And I do believe you got caught on CCTV trying to blag a parking space. That was part of the lawsuit, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I will. bastard. Um, uh, never mind. Mm. Okay. So what else was I going to talk about? Yeah, carbon fibre jeeps, carbon fibre chassis, brilliant idea. I thought because they are, the Willys jeep is fabulous. Everybody wants a Willys jeep. That will never age. That vehicle will always be cool. I don't care. It will always be cool. You could have a newer engine, newer transmission, newer disc brakes and things. As long as it looks right on the outside, that vehicle will last forever and it will always be sought after. People will always want it. It doesn't matter, it can only do 40, 50 miles an hour on a motorway. It doesn't matter. That's not <laughs> That's not what you bought it for. You bought it for being cool and driving about in, in, a, in a sunny climate with the roof down. And I just thought, wow, that would be so cool. I mean, you look at a new Rubicon now, I mean, they're serious money. They're a lot of money. They are. So that was my little tip for the day, anyone who's interested, build Willys Jeeps out of carbon fibre. Because you can get the parts, every other part you want for them, you can buy them over the shelf. They're still available, apparently, so I'm told. Do you want to add anything, darling? Nope. <laughs> A long day. Yeah, we'll be back, we'll try and make videos every day. We've got friend of Trevor's. Trevor Colt coming tomorrow. Jason. Well he's here tonight. He? He's I here tonight. He's landed. So hopefully we'll meet up with him tomorrow. Hello Jason. I don't know if he's up for making videos. I've never met him before but we'll find out tomorrow. So he's here for a few days. No doubt he'll be wanting to see the monkeys and the dolphins. Yeah. So look forward to that. See you tomorrow. Hopefully maybe well we will see you tomorrow anyway. We'll make a video tomorrow. Yeah, so Unless I, mean, I die yeah. in the middle of the night, which I doubt. <laughs> she shouldn't be so lucky. I've left it. Die. By the way, if I do die in the night, I'll leave all my money to my darling wife. That's not going to happen, hopefully not. Good night, and may your God go with you. <laughs>